Wow, wow, and wow. Are you ready to supercharge your Power BI experience with an absolute game changer feature which was released in the month of February for Power BI called Visual Calculations? Are you tired of wrestling with complex DAX formulas to achieve those basic calculations? Well, no more because today I am thrilled to explore a revolutionary feature that will transform the way you create calculations within Power BI. Say hello to Visual Calculations, the Excel-like feature that you've been dreaming of. From my tone, you can clearly say that I'm truly excited to explore this feature. I've been waiting for this feature from a few months now and finally it is here. I haven't really spent a lot of time exploring this feature but I thought let me quickly make a tutorial to help you guys understand how this particular feature is going to make your life easier. With all this excitement I forgot to introduce myself. Well my name is Ismail and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So without further ado let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing that you will have to do is download the latest release which is the February release and then once you've installed Power BI head over to the file click on option settings head over to the options under preview features scroll down and this is where you will find visual calculations check this box and restart your power bi once you've done that you will see that we now have the new calculation feature available within the calculations tab let's start by adding in some data fields i'm going to add let's say category sales and profit i've added all of these three fields here let me change this into a column chart now that i have created the visual i have the new calculation option available let me click on this new calculation now things to remember here the calculations that you create in this visual stays within this visual it is not created within the model and is not available between the other visuals that you will have in your report so whatever calculations that you create stays within that particular visual so let's start by creating our first calculation there is a little fx button here microsoft has created some templates of the most used tax functions which you can create with just a click of a button so the first one here says running sum or the cumulative sum that we call it this as so let's call this as cumulative sum and all you have to do is refer to the field which you want to create the cumulative sum for for example let's say i want to create the cumulative sum for the column profit that I have in my table I can refer to the column here which is sum of profit and then click on confirm and with just a click of a button I now have a cumulative sum created in my table and the same is also being displayed in the column chart that I have above. How cool is this? Earlier if you had to do this you had to write complex tags you had to remember a lot of stuff but now Microsoft has made this really easy. Now let's add another calculation here. Let's say for example you want to subtract the sum of sales with the sum of profit column here. All you have to do is let me just rename this and call this as difference is equals to I can now simply refer to sum of sales subtract that with sum of profit. I can refer to the column sum of profit and click on confirm. I now have created a difference column just like the way you create in an excel. So let's add the next calculation here. Let's click on the FX button here. The next option here is the moving average. So when we click on moving average, you will all you have to do is enter the field name and the window size. So let's add in the next calculation here. Let's click on the FX button. The next option available here is the moving average. So when I click on moving average, all I have to enter is the field name and the window size. So whenever you are calculating the moving average, you basically refer to a window size, which could be like last three months last six months moving average etc so in this case let's enter a field name I'm going to refer to the field name here sales and my window size let's say I want to calculate the average of the last two categories so I'm going to enter two here and then click on confirm now you can see that I'm calculating the average in this case in the eggs meat and fish row here which is returned as 1.9 million it is basically calculating the average of eggs meat and fish category and the beverages category and and returning the moving average of that particular category. You can see that how visual calculations is going to make your life easy. You do not really need to know DAX to create difference moving average or the cumulative sum in this case. So Power BI is now working towards making life really easy for Power BI developers. Let's look at the next option here. When you click on FX button you have percent of parents. So to give you a demo of this let me bring in the subcategory as well into the X axis and now I have the subcategory details and you can see that the moving average all is getting calculated 
calculated based on the fields that we have in our table here so let's add a new calculation here i'm going to click on the fx button let's click on percent of parent now all i have to do is i want to calculate the percentage of total by the subcategory and in the field section here i'm going to enter the sales column and in the collapse field i'm going to also mention the sales column and in the access field here since i want to calculate the percentage of parent by the row and not by the column i will have to enter rows here you can also see the arrows here i'm going to select rows and click on confirm and now you can see that i'm calculating percent of parent by the category it is taking this total here and calculating what is the subcategory biscuits contributing to category bakery and you can see that we also do not have the values formatted in the percentage so all you have to do is go back to the visual right click on the calculation that you have added click on edit calculation and let's format this particular calculation here and followed by a comma i'm going to enter 0.0 percent close the quotes close the bracket and confirm and now a percent of parent is displayed here in percentage let's take a look at the next option that is available here let's add a new calculation let's click on the fx button and now you have percentage of grand total if you want to now calculate how much is biscuits category contributing to the entire total sales amount you can do that here so let's enter the sales field here you can see how simple this has been made using the visual calculations i'm going to enter sales again here and all you have to do is type in rows and click on confirm and now you can see that and let's quickly go back to the edit here and let's add the format function here 0.0 percent close the quotes close the bracket and confirm and now if you want to know how much did biscuit subcategory contribute to the total of sales you can see that right here and if you want to take a look at by category you can do that by category as well you can see that 12 percent of these total sales were contributed by the category bakery i mean like how how cool is this now let's take a look at the next option here you have average of children you can calculate the average of the children within the category in this case all you have to do is mention the field name which is sales and followed by the rows here and click on confirm and now you can see that we are displaying the average of children which is about half a million and it is basically the calculation or the sum of all of these three sales amount divided by three is returning the average of the children now let's take a look at the next calculation which is available here when you click on the fx button you have versus previous now if you have to refer to the previous row earlier you had to write complex tags etc but now you can just refer to them like the way you refer in excel for example i want to refer to the previous row here i can simply enter the field name which is sales and the previous field all i'm doing here is using the function called previous and referring to the previous sales and click on confirm and now you can see that we are now subtracting the value six lakhs here with five lakhs nine thousand and returning the value here as ninety one thousand likewise you can see here five lakh thirty six thousand ninety four is being subtracted with six lakhs here and the value is being returned as negative sixty four thousand and likewise when i look at this drop down here you have versus next versus first you can calculate the difference with the first value that is available in that particular category and you also have the versus last the last category that is available within that particular table now that i have created all of these values within this visual and if i want to hide a certain values i can do that but remember that if you remove any of the values for example if i remove the sales amount from here the visual is going to break i need to have the sales amount added in here so let's quickly add the sales amount back here and let me click check this box and now i can rename this to sales make sure the name matches as well since i have renamed this column now my calculations are all back now and if i have to hide any of the values for example let's say i don't want to display sales i don't want to display profit i just want to display the cumulative sum difference and moving average i can hide all of them here let's say let me hide this as well i now have the cumulative values being displayed right on this visual if you want to enable more details you can do that if let's say for example if you want to display sales along with the cumulative value you can do that right here you can either choose to display the calculation or hide the calculation by clicking on these 
icons over here. So I'm completely blown away by these visual calculations which I have been waiting for a very long time. Like I mentioned earlier that I haven't really explored the visual calculations in detail and probably I will do that in the coming days and maybe create another tutorial for you guys to explore the visual calculations and how this can make your life easy. Thanks for staying around until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.